Hello everyone, this is Mata Tatiana. Welcome back to my platform of numbers for your health, happiness, and peace. And remember how I said that I was going to implement inner child work with the life path vibrations, right? But before we get into that series, we are going to talk about the different wounds that we experience these inner child wounds okay and there are several that we can talk about but today we are going to share at least the lucky seven <laughs> are you guys ready because i am ready to share okay so this inner child wound right here that we're going to talk about is the betrayal i know guys the betrayal so this one has a lot to do with you feeling used by one of your protectors your caretakers they were supposed to watch you and take care of you okay this individual only had themselves in mind okay so this this caretaker also was a wounded child as well okay so they did what they were taught and they trickled it down to you do you want to break the cycle i hope so i truly truly hope so Okay. The next one has to do with the guilt wound. Okay. This inner child wounded with this energy was highly manipulated and controlled and made to feel sorry, to feel bad for its actions. Um, they were highly manipulated by their take caretakers. And guess what? They became masters of manipulation. I'll share that at another time. Okay. <laughs> Then the next one that we have here is known as the rejection wound. So this inner child reached out for love, for affection, for nurture, and was rejected. Don't touch me, right? Don't come near me. I don't even know what you are. So this really, really affected you and molded you into feeling that you need to be a people pleaser okay um afraid that you're going to be rejected so it also made you very tough right Arr. okay then we have the attack wound this wound this inner child wounded actually went through some serious physical abuse okay and this physical abuse was so strong was physical was emotional as well as mental so this is going to be a person that is going to be hyper vigilant okay like they're gonna be scared are you gonna hit them are you gonna oh no don't touch me oh no you know this is this type of person okay then we have judgmental wound so this inner child with this wound is highly critical of him or herself highly um besides critical they are also a perfectionist they want things a certain way they want it their way and it has to be a particular way or they are just not going to like it okay they may be one to procrastinate a lot okay because they just have this this delusional idea that it has to be perfect okay then we have the abandoned abandonment wound so this inner child is wounded in this way feel left alone feel that everyone has turned their back at them okay they are always trying to be around they could be clingy they may also threaten to leave just to see if you are going to want to have them or if you're just going to confirm their belief of not feeling loved okay then there's the neglect wound the neglect wound is one that always wants to be left alone, doesn't want to be bothered. This one had a caretaker that paid it no mind, left it alone. So the neglect room may experience a lot of rage and anger and may take a lot of things personal, may also feel that they could read what's on your mind and that you said this, I know, a lot, right? So these are just some of the wounds that we are going to be tackling, we're going to go deeper. And I want you guys to get the heads up for when I talk about it from the number perspective, that you get a better understanding of some of your behaviors that has led to the life that you have. And let's recreate our destiny. 
Love you guys. Bye now. And thank you for subscribing.